Hello and welcome as we gather for morning prayer. I'm John Steyerwald. I'm pastor of St. John's Lutheran Church, a congregation serving the Lexington County area since the early 1830s. Our website is stjohnslexington.com and our Facebook handle for St. John's is Welcome to St. John's. So welcome. We come every min Monday, Wednesday, and Friday morning at 10 for morning prayer a chance for us to read a passage from the daily lectionary and to have brief prayer and then for you to hopefully catch up with the day. On Mondays and Wednesdays and Fridays, I always ask you to ask a question about faith or church. It's an open-ended question and we'll try to discuss questions on Fridays. Today we do not have questions to discuss and so we'll be reading from Psalm 123. We'll read Psalm 123 three times through. We're following the African study method. I'll read the passage through up slowly and listen for a word or a phrase to carry you through the day. A couple of other announcements just to share. We always offer drive-in worship at 9.30 on Sunday mornings. A congregation is positioned just 100 yards off of Lake Murray, a beautiful site. We invite you to come in your cars, bring your family or friends, come alone. Uh, bring a cup of coffee and enjoy worship, which streams from our Facebook page, Welcome to St. John's, but also uh, we broadcast the audio of worship through your car radio, and that way you can participate, which gives us the chance, because there is no risk of spreading virus by aerosol, it gives us the chance to sing hymns and to read responsibly. So we look forward to that. That's this Sunday. Looks like beautiful weather heading our way. Come in your car. Pick up a communion kit at the very uh, uh, opening of worship and join as we celebrate um, worship this Sunday morning at 9.30, uh, a drive-in service. And again, reminding you that you can always stream worship with us at Welcome to St. John's. And again, just another reminder, on Wednesday nights at 9 o'clock, we offer Compline online at Facebook, uh, Welcome to St. John's, a chance for you to hear Compline, to quiet your day at the end of uh, the evening, and then to find refreshment. Let's read Psalm 123. We'll read this through, listen for that word or that phrase. To you I lift up my eyes, O you who are enthroned in the heavens, as the eyes of the servants look to the hand of their master as the eyes of a maid to the hand of her mistress, so our eyes look to the Lord our God until he has mercy upon us. Have mercy upon us, O Lord. Have mercy upon us, for we have had more than enough of contempt. Our soul has been seen more than its fill of the scorn of those who are at ease, of the contempt of the proud. Let's pause a moment before we read the psalm a second time. Listen for that word or listen for that phrase and let those carry you through the day. Again, we're reading from Psalm 123. To you I lift up my eyes, O you who are enthroned in the heavens, as the eyes of the servants look to the hand of their master, as the eyes of a maid to the hand of her mistress, so our eyes look to the Lord our God until he has mercy upon us. Have mercy upon us, O Lord, have mercy upon us, for we have had more than enough contempt. Our soul has had more than its fill of the scorn of those who are at ease, of the contempt of the proud. This is certainly a psalm seeking um, restoration and hope in the middle of difficulties. It's a fitting psalm for this time. Listen again one last time. To you I lift up my eyes, O you who are enthroned in the heavens, as the eyes of servants look to the hand of their master, as the eyes of a maid to the hand of her mistress, so our eyes look to the Lord our God, until he has mercy upon us. Have mercy upon us, O Lord, have mercy upon us, for we have had more than enough of contempt. Our soul has had more than its fill of the scorn of those who are at ease, of the contempt of the proud. 
As we pray, I invite you to lift up the names, both aloud or silently, of those that you wish to pray for and, and also those matters that are weighing on you at this time. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. Oh, holy God, we thank you for the abundant opportunities that this day lays ahead for us, the opportunities to see your mercy, the opportunities to share mercy with others, the opportunities to lift up a broken heart or to accompany another in a walk in faith, the chance for us to sit just silently and, and console or support a friend or to listen to another friend's troubles, the chance to celebrate our children and our young people and their, and their futures, and the chance for us to support and nurture those who have lived long lives we ask, dear God, that we take the opportunity to pray for those who struggle, and especially those who struggle through this, this pandemic. Bless and strengthen and protect healers, nurses, and doctors, technicians. Strengthen and kindle the minds and the intellects of those seeking vaccines for COVID-19. Protect those who are afraid of the next day. We ask that you bring healing to those who are sick and that you comfort those who mourn and that you hear the prayers that each one of us offers in this moment. We pray these things in the name of Christ. Amen. Well, again, we look forward to drive-in worship this Sunday, streaming online on Facebook at 930 at Welcome to St. John's. But bring friends. Uh, come in. Pull into the parking lot. Worship with us. Join your family and join the community of faith at St. John's. Blessings on your day. Go in peace. Serve the poor. Thanks be to God.